Okay, the next artist that we're going to view is Shepard Fairey. Some of you may be familiar with him. Um, this is a very interesting piece he did, uh, or a series that he did, called The Duality of Humanity. And um, in The Duality of Humanity, he kind of approaches this idea of that perhaps there are two sides to, uh, to so many things like children and people and so forth. So here you see this very innocent child, maybe from uh, uh, Laos perhaps, or Myanmar. And, um, and he's holding obviously an M16 gun. And if you look at all the details here too, you can see little, little peace signs there. And of course, just like all over repeated. Um, and then also right here in the center, you could see the obey symbol. So Shepard Ferry is actually the inventor or owner of the obey company to make t-shirts, stickers, things like that. And, um, yeah. So here are the notes that I want you to copy down. So Shepard Ferry, duality of humanity number five did this back in 2007. It's mixed media, which means he uses different things to do it. Sometimes he uses like stencil, cardboard, uh, wallpaper, prints things out that he designs on the computer, pastes it down, draws over it. So there's a number of different things that you could do. And I just put San Francisco where it was located because uh, he keeps a lot of the originals himself. So in his studio is in LA and it's San Francisco. So go ahead and copy that down and remember you could pause at any point you know and then and then go forward but just looking at the elements of art space line balance color shape there is a very uh, uh, interesting use of color in that um, he only uses two to three colors in this uh, if I go back really quick you can see there's a red there's a light red um, or kind of a burgundy actually and black and then just the white of the campus perhaps uh, the canvas and um, what makes it interesting is that it's sort of monochromatic and that um, there's just one color that dominates the whole thing okay the other thing too is the use of value of course um, the, pay attention to the shadows and the three-dimensional form okay and uh, the use of line, right? Uh, we see these lines kind of shooting out, almost like a Japanese sunrise, right? That we see in that type of artwork. So it's kind of just shooting out there in all these different directions. So what you want to write down here is in this piece I see, what is it that you see? Maybe you see the two sides of, of, of children or innocence, or maybe you see... Um, how good people can be and uh, as opposed to how bad they can be or juxtaposed to. What do you think the artist is trying to say? You know, is he trying to say that kids are evil? Or is he just trying to point out maybe that in certain parts of the world um, things are messed up because kids have guns? Um, what do you like or don't like about it? And then we're going to look at some more of his artwork here in just a moment. Okay, just to move on, um, this is a picture of Shepard Fairey. It looks very uh, proper here, probably at an art exhibition showing off his Obama Hope uh, poster that he actually got sued over because uh, he took the likeness of the Obama image from, I forget what, new, what which newspaper it was, but the person who took the photo didn't like that. So they sued him, and I'm, I think he happily paid uh, what he owed and just sort of moved on. I mean, he has so many other things going on that uh, I think a little hit uh, from a photographer is quite all right. Uh, so he's still alive. So he's born in 1970, but still around doing his thing. Uh, here's how kind of all started. He used to make these stickers and different things that he would post around towns, and he would manipulate billboards to have this character here. And this is Andre the Giant. Uh, if you don't remember who Andre the Giant is, he was one of those WWF wrestlers, which is now WWE. But uh, he was seven foot four, five hundred and twenty pounds. So he was a very big guy 
definitely a giant. And here it says, Andre the Giant has a posse. So he has something to be feared or obeyed, which is where he got the idea for the Obey logo. Now if you look at just where the face is here on the Obey logo that you've seen before, I'm sure, you may notice that it looks very familiar. If we just kind of focus in on this area, very much the little Obey face there, isn't it? Once again, Andre the Giant and the Obey. And this is the logo that kind of made him popular and on t-shirts and so forth. Just to move on, looking at more of those du duality of humanities, uh, this is number three. And uh, here we see this big powerful machine gun, probably another M16. And of course, a, a peace sign attached to it. Now that's kind of an oxymoron, right? Um, a peace sign on a weapon that kills people is kind of an interesting thing. But there is that sort of duality, right? Not all soldiers are necessarily interested in killing people, they're interested in protecting, in a way. And, again, just his stuff is so layered. You can see the little o little Obama symbol, or, or sorry, uh, Obey symbol there. Again, in the gun stock there. And then over here, and then you see other little things just all over the place. So it's almost like a Where's Waldo, right? Moving on. Uh, I think I showed you this on the first day. This is uh, Martin Luther King that Shepherd Fairy did. Um, here you see it says Obey over here. And here's a character with a machine gun. It looks like a rose at the end of it with a peace sign that he's holding. And it says Rise Above right there. So there's a very strong message here. You know, probably peace and let's evolve as a species. So some social commentary. Uh, walk the line. This is a official or unofficial poster for um, for the the film Walk the Line with Joaquin Phoenix, where he plays uh, the legendary Johnny Cash. And here you can see it. It almost has that same sort of color scheme as the other ones, but with some yellows or oranges. And uh, very cool looking with that stencil type of artwork. Um, a little more refined, less street, uh, with this elephant series. And look, you can even see the little obey symbol there. And notice the sunburst coming out. Uh, very familiar, right? You've seen that over here with this one, where we see the sunbeams kind of coming out or illuminating. Kind of a neat element that seems to pop up every now and then in his stuff. This one's just kind of funny. Uh, the caption reads, No, I'm a vegetarian. However, he just bit the head off of, off of a dove. And a dove is sort of the international, international um, uh, symbol for peace. So uh, we have this gentleman, this sort of ambiguous or unknown uh, military leader, we're assuming, who just bit the head off of peace, essentially. And again, you see the little Obey badge there, and some other elements going on over here and you can even see like little scraps of paper or torn newspaper here you see like a globe right there so maybe like world domination and then just other little almost like a collage of uh, little newspaper clippings okay and again that sort of sunbeam just kind of coming out there uh, he did a couple of uh, book covers for uh, couple of George Orwell's books. This one's for 1984. And uh, 1984 is sort of similar to Animal Farm in that it helps you to like question government control and is government uh, getting too strong or powerful. And it's about this backwards future in 1984 um, where the government is watching your every move. So, And here's one for Animal Farm, which which uh, a lot of you read in uh, literature class, uh, which is sort of the warnings about communism or the powers of government. And here you see on the cover, a little obey symbol there. Yeah. Uh, little social commentary here, a little critique. Uh, it says, these sunsets are to die for. It's kind of done in that classic uh, style, right? Um, yes, uh, if you live in the L.A. area or different parts of California, 
and there's a lot of industry or smog, sometimes this smog can make for very interesting sunsets, but it's a little scary at the same time because it real, you realize how much pollution is going out into the air. So that's kind of neat. This is uh, an Arab woman. Uh, I like this one because it's slightly different than uh, the color palette that he usually uses. But again, we see a little obey symbol there, and just this uh, you know seemingly beautiful uh, Arabic woman uh, with headdress. Obey propaganda, keeping it cool, cold chilling. And if you notice too, like the fan is actually a record player, so it's maybe pumping music and coolness. And the, again, the obey symbol there. And um, this was part of a humanitarian thing that he was doing for immigrant or migrant worker rights. Um, we are human was the uh, was the message of it. So don't treat us like animals. We are human. We're we're political refugees. We're migratory workers trying to make a living just like anyone else. So that was sort of the message behind these. And even though the colors are slightly different than his other thing, you can see that sunburst kind of coming out there again. And again, similar thing, just a different, uh, just a different uh, type of poster. And again, I got the little bay symbol there. And uh, this was to help the children of Darfur. There's a terrible thing going on in uh, northern Africa uh, near Darfur, which is a region uh, of Africa where um, uh, children are often uh, murdered or, or killed and, and during the violence. So this was to raise awareness for uh, helping the children of Darfur. And I believe not all of these are actually shepherd fairies. I believe there's some other artist's influence in there, but we could definitely tell that this would be shepherd fairies rather than the other three. And we could kind of tell that by maybe the little bay symbol. Some of this uh, caning type stuff, I forget what we call that, but um, and the stencil type figures. So that is it for Shepherd Fairy. Um, there's a video clip for you to watch uh, about him, which is about uh, eight minutes long or so. But if you want to go back through now, and just another piece by this artist's work that stood out to me was, maybe you want to mention, I don't know, Andre the Giant has a posse, or Duality of Humanity number three. And go ahead and just write that in there, and then tell me why. You know, why is it that... Uh, you chose that piece. So again, just slowly go back through and maybe look at which one you would want to include for that last part. And then be sure to check out that video clip just underneath this one.